Hello, dear elephant lovers. If you have watched our previous videos, you would remember this beautiful tusker who was given initial treatment for trap gun injuries in his left hand to boost immunity and energy. In case you missed it, you can find it pinned as the first comment here. As promised, here we bring you the second treatment video. He is showing a clear improvement in his health condition. The infection that developed in his body due to the gunshot is diminishing. However, he still lacks the energy to keep up his heavy frame and survive on his own. Hence, this treatment. This beautiful tusker lives closer to this village, so the villagers have been kind enough to look after him ever since he got injured. They used to give him soft textured banana stem in the beginning, but now that he is much better, they give him more solid foods like jackfruit. The wildlife team has been closely monitoring the improvements of this elegant creature after the initial treatment. The officers are setting the cannula to give him a dose of IV saline after cleaning the ear flap with a disinfectant agent. He keeps interrupting one officer. Maybe he is hungry and is asking for food. This intelligent animal is aware that the people here are helpful and are fond of him. He has always been harmless, and so is he now. It is for some misfortune he got caught in a trap gun mounted in a nearby crop field. On the other side, the vets are preparing the medicines like antibiotics, multivitamins, rheumatic drugs, painkillers, etc. These are prepared according to the body size of the tusker and will be given through the same IV line, as it works faster than intramuscular injections. IV is the best way to deliver a dose rapidly and accurately, as the drugs enter directly into the systematic circulation without the delay associated with the absorption process, achieving its therapeutic effect faster than by any other route. Several bullet fragments have got engraved into the animal's flesh, and yet, he has gone into the wild and suffered silently until he decided to leave his herd and come back to the village looking for help. The villagers noticed this and got the wildlife rescue team to come for his aid. Now the saline has started flowing in, and the vets keep adding the prepared medicines into the saline bottle. The animal is still lying calmly, letting the vets do the magic. He still has the scraggy look and the faded looking skin. This is due to dehydration, which is elevated by the high temperature. Saline works efficiently in situations like this to rehydrate and restore the nutrient gaps and energize him with the added medicines. Amidst all this, the villagers have not forgotten to respond to the tusker's request for food. They have brought him food and water. Villagers of all age groups are here to see the treatment process, help the officers, and care for the animal. Children who are fond of this tusker try to pat him on the head too. Today, the tusker will be given eight bottles of saline mixed with other medicines. When the bottle runs out of saline, they refill the bottle to continue the flow. The vets are preparing the medicines. To help the wildlife officers, a small boy too has come. Isn't it worth learning to be kind to animals from a very young age? Elephants, unlike other mammals, do not have sweat glands to cool off or moisten their skin when needed. So, a villager voluntarily draws water, brings it to the animal, and speckles it on the tusker to completely wet his body. The tusker must be feeling so thankful to this man for freshening him.
It is sad to see such a beautiful animal fallen down like this helplessly. Actually, no one can be blamed or held responsible for this accident. Villagers set various types of traps to protect their crops from wild animals, as that is sometimes what they have for their consumption for the whole year. On the other hand, wild animals are compelled to come into the villages to look for food as deforestation has shrunk their food sources drastically. Besides, just like humans, animals too seek convenience, and they find the bountiful croplands a blessing. Not only the elephants are the culprits, but many other wild animals like wild boars and peacocks too come into the villages looking for food. This tusker too would have gotten caught in a trap gun set for wild boars and have gotten his arm tangled in the trap gun and eventually got shot. The injury has turned into infection after two or three weeks. The animal is still being splashed with water from time to time. He is given water to drink as well. Luckily, the tusker is supportive of the treatment and is not aggressive towards the people. In the meantime, the officers have made an IV pole to hang the saline bottle. People are bringing in more food and water for the tusker as well. Everyone around is trying their best to be of some help to the animal. More drugs are being prepared and the vets are planning to give them as intramuscular injections. Some drugs are not safe to be mixed together in infusions or dilute, as they could either precipitate or have other reactions, etc. That is why these medicines will be injected separately. These officers and veterinarians are doing this job with sound knowledge of drug compatibility, so the treatment methods are accurate, we know. The villagers gathered here, especially the kids, are eagerly waiting to see how the elephant will revive and be up on his feet. It is time consuming to administer eight bottles of saline, one after the other, but the wait should be worth it. If you watched the previous video, you will recall that the wildlife officers and villagers had to put in a lot of effort last time to wake up the tusker after the treatment was over. They even had to use ropes to pull him up. But now, since the animal has regained some strength after treatment, the rope method might not be necessary. The intravenous saline treatment is now coming to an end. The tusker is showing some leg movement too. To end the treatment, a veterinarian injects the drugs prepared by them a while ago. The animal struggles a bit when the medicines are injected into the muscle in his hind leg. It shows he has gained energy. Let's see what happens next. A narrow escape for the officer who was injecting the medicines. He just missed a kick from the tusker. The animal is continuously showing activeness. Looks like he wants to get up now but he will need to have more patience to tolerate the irritation as more injections are coming his way. Poor thing. Now that the saline administration is over, the cannula is being removed carefully. The animal continues to struggle, but the officers continue their work. The cannula site is plastered to prevent any infection.
Finally, the wildlife team and the villagers get together and help the tusker to get up. Without much difficulty, they were able to make the animal rise up within seconds. He sits up on his knees for a while and looks at the people around him. He gradually wakes up, putting his weight on his uninjured front leg. Thereafter, he slowly stands on all four legs, bringing a smile to everyone's faces. Officials have been appointed to continue special monitoring of this tusker. They will monitor the eating and drinking patterns and the behavior in general. The veterinarians say that this beautiful tusker will soon recover and will beautify the village once again with its elegance. Hello. Hello.